What's going on out there, YouTube? This is SEL0320 representing JVS. Just real quick, I wanted to make sure I give y'all an authentic first reaction review. Again, this is a first reaction review. This is not going to be any spoilers at all for this. I wait for Joe to come back and then we'll do our, you know, full review for the newest episode of The Flash from here tonight. And I have to say, it was actually a really decent episode. I think it wasn't one of the strongest episodes, I have to say. Um, but the action was definitely there. I mean, because the, the whole thing about it is there's a person by the name of Turtle that, for whatever reason, Cisco decided to keep underneath the wraps of, of uh, Barry. I don't know why. Um, I feel like it's got something to do with Cisco's inevitability of being like a hero himself. But either way, um, it, <laughs> his power, instead of like being super fast, he's able to slow everybody else around him. And so it's like, how can the Flash really be something like that? And how the way they go back and forth with things is really interesting. Like I thought it was really good CG. It was really fun. Uh, but what was really going on, the strength of the episode was the fact that Barry trying to maintain his relationship um, with Patty. And even with his relationship with Patty, um, he knows he's been having nightmares that Zoom is a strong possibility of him taking her hurting her, All right, but I mean, the whole entire thing is like that could happen at any moment, you know, and that's one of the things that kept Barry so in balance uh, last year is the fact that he knew that by him doing this, this is putting everyone he loves in jeopardy, and that's when he kind of alienated himself from everybody, especially at the beginning of this season, but um, I think that the way that the whole resolve goes with him, his relationship with Patty, it, it definitely hits an interesting milestone. Um, it's like, will he or won't we? Will he fight or flight, you know? And um, by having a villain, you know, that literally stops him in his tracks in a sense, there's a lot of symbolism behind that. So I actually appreciated the, the, the background that's what's going on as far as with Patty and Barry. Um, I think my problem is I just can't see Patty and Barry finite. You know what I'm saying? I, I, in the back of my head, I'm always going to see, like, Iris is his soulmate. I mean, even they, to me, they work more... In cohesion now they ever have it's like they have no secrets he, she completes him in a lot of different ways I think it's just weird to me that uh, yeah, I keep on calling Candace uh, Iris is not you know showing any kind of like feelings at all for him like she's always there but it's like she's maintaining this really good friendship and it, it speaks volumes about her character in general um, but I just can't see very with anybody else the other part of this episode it features um, Wally, Wally and Joe, like um, their relationship and the different issues that's going on with them. And um, I have to say, like <laughs> the stuff that, that Wally is getting into and the things that Joe is trying to go through great lengths to try to connect with the son is commendable. But Joe is just a good dad. He's a good person in general. Um, and I actually like that. It was, it was, I think it, it could have been fleshed out a little bit more, you know, in a lot of different ways, like maybe like a flashback here or there. It was pretty decent. Uh, and then the real other last part of this would be uh, Harrison Wells and just his contempt with after um, Zoom took him and showed him his daughter and then took her back in front of him and said, you will get Barry to lose his strength. I mean, not strength, but his, his speed. And um, like, I think that his character can eventually become very dark. Um, when he made the velocity uh, formula, I kept on thinking in my head, like, dude, this is possible. He might end up taking this. Um, and I think that um, he's the most dangerous person there just because he has nothing to lose. And I mean, well, not nothing to lose. He has everything to lose, in other words. And so I think that makes for a good character, but it, it makes for a really scary one. As well as at the end of this episode, like, it reveals somebody that's back. And I don't know how. I really don't know how. I want y'all to leave me in the comment section below if y'all know what I'm talking about. How the heck is this dude back? Either way, hopefully y'all enjoyed this uh, first reaction. If I had to give the episode a review, I'd maybe give it like an 8 out of 10. It wasn't bad. It definitely wasn't the strongest as far as the mid-season for me. I felt like they should have gone maybe into a little bit more deeper with uh, certain things. And even like um, I didn't get into uh, Caitlyn and, uh, and uh, Jay Garrett. Because there's something going on with that that it, it, it changes the dynamics of their relationship um, in a lot of different ways. But it, it wasn't flushed out that well because too many other things going on. I think this is one of the first episodes that things didn't mesh well with a lot of things going on. 
Um, maybe my mind is just scatterbrained because I got a lot going on. But either way, I guess episode maybe an 8 out of 10. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this first reaction review of The Flash. Episode, uh, is it 11? No, yeah. It's episode 10. Potential energy. Later y'all. Peace.